Jailbreak is full of several different and unique features. While many are well loved by the community, there are quite a few that have been neglected by players or the developers. In this video, I will discuss 10 of these forgotten features. This list isn't in any particular order, although the features further down the list are generally less used or less updated than the ones higher up. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. For our first forgotten feature, we have boats. The first water vehicle added to the game was the jet ski in summer 2019. While players initially had fun racing around with it, eventually it was forgotten and no one used it. In the 2020 live event, the devs added in two more boats, the cruiser and the sloop. While the jet ski was seldom used due to being restricted to water, it was still really fast and could be customized, which were two features the sloop and the cruiser did not share. Both vehicles are incredibly slow and cannot be customized whatsoever. The devs also haven't added any new boats ever since, and they forgot to add radio support to the boats when they revamped the radios. Honestly, I really don't mind that boats haven't been touched in so long, they are so useless that it would be a waste of time to adjust them. Then we have planes. Planes were a highly requested and anticipated feature for years, and the devs finally added two planes in summer 2019. However, despite their long history of requests, players immediately neglected them due to their difficult controlling system, and to this day seeing a plane in a server is truly a rare sight. Planes are so neglected that, like boats, they cannot support radios, and they cannot support any of the textures rewarded from new seasons. They also don't even have a speedometer, so you don't know how fast you can go while using it. Luckily, Asimo said he has plans for them. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for the jets to get some love. Up next we have a fairly recent feature, security cameras. This was also a long requested feature and for the life of me I never understood why. I don't know how people don't understand that security cameras in other games are neglected as you need to actually sit there and watch it to spot criminals. This feature was added just 2 months ago and already pretty much no players use this whatsoever. I actually think this feature is kind of underrated as there is a really cool feature where it tracks criminals spotted on the camera and I personally find this really helpful. However, most players don't know or care about the security cameras so they definitely earn a spot on this list. Then we have airdrops. When they were first added, these were really good as they rewarded 3000 cash all the time. There was a small chance to get a crate that had 10,000 cash which was fantastic. However, one day the devs decided to nerf them by cutting the money they gave in half. No one cares about airdrops anymore and they are totally neglected. I think a cool change to this would be to reward actual safes from airdrops. I think this would be a fun way to reward them and it would make getting safes more unique. In 6th place, we have the secret level 4 bases. I remember these hideouts were teased for a long time back in 2018 and there were a ton of theories on what these could be. Eventually they were added and could be unlocked when reaching a certain level. The main draw is the holograms that show where players are located. However, Flash forward 3 years later and no one cares about these bases anymore. The holographic maps, while they now support display names, still haven't been updated to show the map expansion. You cannot find the power plant on the map or anywhere in the map expansion. The cop base is totally neglected and no one ever goes there, but sometimes the criminal base is used by camping cops. I think these bases really need a revamp as they've been forgotten about for so long. Then we have robbery protection. For the passenger train and the cargo ship, you can actually rob both locations as a cop. You get bonus money for protecting both places from criminals. I mean, with the cargo ship, you're not really protecting it honestly, you're just dropping crates into the ocean. I think this is a nice little bonus feature, but barely any players know about this or they find it pointless. I think more players should try protecting robberies as it gives a nice little cash bonus and cops could always do with more money. In fourth place, we have helicopter lights. These were added way back in the blade update, rest in peace, greatest vehicle of all time. These lights slow down criminals running on foot, however, they are pretty ineffective at helping catch criminals all things considered. For some reason, they don't actually slow down vehicles which would actually be a really cool feature. These lights are not really helpful whatsoever and pretty much no one uses them anymore. Up next we've got melee weapons. Everyone knew that melee weapons would be really useless considering the game is all about guns, but the devs went ahead and added them anyways, and as expected, the melee weapons were absolute garbage and did barely any damage. They do provide a small speed buff sometimes, but this isn't enough to motivate players to use them, and now that we have the energy drink, the sword speed is useless. The devs haven't updated the weapons in any way since they were first added, and no one cares about them whatsoever, so they come in third place. 
For the penultimate forgotten feature, we have firefighting. When the fire truck was added, the developers added a feature that allowed you to put out fires and earn cash. However, you only get 100 cash, 120 if you have the VIP game pass, so it is really not worth the effort to drive around and put out fires. Fires can be spawned from rocket launchers or from lightning but these are pretty rare occurrences unless you actually buy rockets. This feature, while it is cool for role playing, it's pretty useless in the real game. But in first place, we've got prison drawers. This feature has always been useless ever since it was first added and barely anyone has ever used this. First off, it's really inconvenient. Let's say you get a key card. You're not going to go all the way back to the prison and sacrifice precious time when you could have gotten more money by putting your key card underneath your prison cell. No one's going to do that. That takes way too much time. This feature also got rendered even more obsolete with the addition of item dropping. I don't see the devs doing anything to address it and I don't think there's anything you can do to make it better. And I have not seen any players using this feature in a very, very long time. So this comes in number one. This concludes my ranking of the top 10 forgotten jailbreak features. What do you think? Do you use any of the features that I've included on this list? What features do you think I should have included? Did you forget about any of the features I talked about on this list? Make sure to tell me everything in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you are new to the channel, please consider liking this video and subscribing for more jailbreak content like this. Anyways, stay safe everybody.